Okay, 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 he's done, he's done. He's done. Whoa! Good shooting. <laughs> what? what a hunt! What a hunt! What a hunt! <laughs> Not much safety <sighs> <sighs> we so we stopped in on a on a dune looking for a kudu way over there, probably about a thousand yards. Oh yeah, a bit easy. more maybe. Yeah, easy. And uh, we spot this eland bull on the side of this mountain. We all had a look at him. Bob said, "No, I think we should change the kudu for an eland." <laughs> so we used that red sand dune there in the background, and we followed it with a truck all the way. Stopped on the other side of this mountain, ran up the mountain, saw he's still here. Showed Pops he can come up, got our breath and everything, and he nailed him. He's just about 80 yards from us, stone dead. Success, success. Uh, Take your time going down. Watch your food waste, huh? Yeah, I'll get it at the bottom there. Yes. He's really blue all the way to the back. What's that? He was really blue all the way to the back. He's actually black. Yeah, look at that animal. Feel that. As you feel, know the difference between a kudu and an eland. Uh, <laughs> I talked to him about it. Well done. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And Tim decided, no, let's leave the kudu and make a stalk on this bull. Luckily, we had the wind in our favor, but we had a big mountain between us we had to climb. So we got up on the mountain. As we got over the top of the mountain, the bull was still feeding just 60 yards out. And uh, got them to sit down for a couple of minutes. It's a, quite a uh, hike up the mountain. Get his breath. And Tim got on the gun and he smoked him. And, and this is the result. So uh, he, was, he was feeding and he picked up his head, kind of looked up to us. So I knew it was time to, time to shoot. Got the first shot off, hit him in the right shoulder. I saw the shoulder haunch and I figured it was a, was a good shot. Then uh, as he turned away, I tried to break, break, uh, break his hind leg. And as he came out from behind a bush, I was lucky enough to, uh, to get a shot into his neck, broke his neck, and uh, he just dropped right where we are. But what a haunt, what a magnificent, magnificent haunt. To be able to take a bull like this in the mountains is just beyond special. Thank you.